Hey guys, it's Anna, your Master Lash Artist with The Lash Supply. We are here at our channel, The Lash Life. And today we have some very special guests. We have some former students of the Lash Extension Specialty class um, with Houston Training Schools. This is... Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. I've been in the lash industry for about two, three years and I just started a new chapter in my life and I'm so excited to share, to share everything with you guys today. And hi, my name is Imelda Hernandez and I am a newbie. I, am, I have just started lashing since November. And today guys, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the challenges that going to school to get licensed brings. It's not as easy as everyone thinks it is. It's really hard. Um, you spend a lot of hours at school. And if you're spending a lot of hours at school, you're neglecting your finances, you're neglecting your home, you know, everything. You just, it's a full dedication. And it, like I said, it's harder than you think. So we're going to talk a little bit about that because I know a lot of you guys are going through it or you're going to be going through it. So I think that getting to know a little bit about what happens behind the scenes when you actually enlist into a school to get licensed is really important um, because when there's new students, there's always a lot of questions. There's always like, what happens when I graduate? What happens, you know, this? What happens to that? So I'm pretty sure we'll answer a lot of those questions. Um, so let's get started. Um Guys, I know that you both just graduated in November. I know it was like rough. <laughs> it was <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you made crazy. it. Yeah, you made it. But, you know, I want to know, and I know I've asked you guys this before, but what made you guys sign up for a lash course? Like, this is not just a lash course. You signed up for licensing, right? Which is right. really life-changing. Imelda, let's start with you. Like, why did you sign up? Like, what did you, what were you thinking that was like, I, I want to sign up for this course. I want to get licensed. Like, what were you thinking about? Honestly, uh, I always liked watching everybody, like you guys, you know, for example, Lash, the girls. And it always caught my attention. Um, but I'm like, I want to learn how to do that. I think I have the patience because you do need a lot of patience. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> a lot of patience. Um, and I think that really caught my eye. I'm like, I really want to do it. I think I have the patience. I want to mm -hmm. be like my own boss. I want to work from home or, you know, just have my own business and also spend yeah. time with my family, which is also very important to me, my kids, my right. husband. So I'm like, well, if I do this, I can definitely uh, start my own business and do something that I like and yet also spend time with my family. Yeah, that's yeah, that's so, really important. Yeah, that's really important. Yeah. Alice. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> so, like I mentioned, I had lashed before for approximately two, three years-ish. Uh -huh. um, I always wanted to go to school. Um, mainly the main thing that stopped me was my finances. Yeah. I'm the older. I come from a Hispanic family where, you know, the older kid has to take a little bit more charge into the family industry yeah. and stuff. So it makes it a little bit harder when you have to fi uh, manage your finances and school and your siblings. And your, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, so I finally made it a goal for myself to enroll before my birthday. Um, so I enrolled in school. When did we start? Like August? Yeah, or something? August. Like August. August. So yeah. that was like my birthday gift for me to me to enroll in school. Um, simply because I've always wanted to be a teacher. I always wanted to teach. Yeah. And being a certified lash tech, you can't do much. You're limited to, you have a very thin borderline where you're just like, yes. I can only do so much. I can't do more than what I want. Right. So... I was like, I've always wanted to be a teacher. I didn't want to go back to college. Yeah. So I was like, how can I teach and how can I keep doing what I love? Yes. So I decided to go to school. Um, and now that I graduated, I'm now working on teaching. You know, I'm building my, my manual and a bunch of other things that go into yes. the industry. So basically, that's what push me to to want to sign up for school the yeah. teaching part and just wanting to yes. grow us. and and why not teach something that you, that really you love? love yes yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's that's exactly exciting. that's the position that I was totally in when I started teaching I loved um I was good at teaching I was good at teaching anything you know what I mean but um lash extensions what you love. yes yes lash extensions was a, a passion of mine it became a passion of mine. It wasn't initially. I never really even thought about lash extensions until a course I took that was like a bundled course. 
included that, mm -hmm. right? And then I was just like, oh, this is really cool. And, um, you know, back then the courses were very, very bland. It was like application. And my instructor was like, oh, you're really good at this. Have you done this before? And I'm like, I've never even seen just lash. Just naturally good. Yeah, I'm like, I've <laughs> never even seen lash extensions in my life. Like, what were lash strips. extensions? Like, I wore strips once in a while for, like, events or whatever, right? If even that. Um, it was mostly mascara back then. <laughs> it was, like, just a bunch of mascara. But, you know, it opened this new world to me that was just like, oh, wow, this is super cool to add so much length and density and just like beauty to the eye yes. and i was just like this is really cool You're like this is something that i want to keep doing a human space yeah like eye. this is something i want to keep doing you know yeah. what i mean yeah so that's really really cool but you know you guys you had to do 320 hours and i'm talking about texas guys this is not you know all over the united states everybody has different requirements so look into your state for your requirements we're in texas to do the lash extension specialty course, you have to do 320 yes. hours, right? So what were you guys expecting to learn in your courses? Uh, you I didn't expect <laughs> to learn as much as I did. Um, okay. Thinking that, like I told you on the first day and yeah. I said to the class, I was like, oh, I've lashed before. I'm like, you know what, but I'm here with a blank mind. My brain doesn't know absolutely anything yes. about lashing. Teach me how to isolate. Teach me yeah. how to place. Teach me how to pick up a lash. Teach, pretend teach I'm brand me, new. Pretend yes. I'm brand new. Yeah. Because in my head, I was like, oh, yeah, I know how to do this. And then we'd open the book because it's not just lashing. No, it's yeah, not you just mentioned doing lashing. several times in class, like, I'm like, <gasps> like really? We gotta, we like, this is new to me. Yes. Like, I don't really miss what you're so going to learn more. about diseases yes. and stuff. Like, yeah. what? Yes. Um, but it was very, it was very different. It was yeah. very... I don't even know how to explain it. It was just, yeah. I thought I knew it before I walked into class. And what, by the time the class started, I was just like, oh, my God. It's, I could practically totally tell you. totally different. <laughs> no, literally, because I could say I am I was street smart for lashing. Yeah. But you made us book smart. Yeah. Right. And now I'm like, okay, once I'm street smart, once I'm book smart, I'm like, I got this. I'm like, smart, we smart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm smart, smart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm smart, smart. Yeah. Smart, smart. Well, you, whenever I started, I have... Like, no knowledge of whatsoever. Yeah. Like, I would see videos. You were but brand new, brand new to I was lashing. brand new, brand new. Like, whenever, like, on the third day, I think, it was when you we got the, the tweezers to start doing our, our classics on the mannequin. I was like, how in the world am I going <laughs> to hold these tweezers with my left and right hand? How am I going to do it? Yeah, I'll be like, right hand. Yeah, for sure. It's, and it's a it big was, thing. Yeah, and, and there's a certain way to hold them, the, you know, the, the... The hand placement. The hand placement, just everything. But, I mean, I got it. it yeah. yeah I'm, I'm glad I took it. I mean, you learn a lot, not only from uh, placing the lashes, but we also learned... Um, uh, eye diseases, uh, infectious control, not just like about how placing the lashes, how to the do eye volume. Shape. Yeah, it's eye not shape. just application. Yes, it's it's yeah, not just it's application. Just not that. It's just everything. And you know what? A lot of people complain about how it's regulated, but once you take the actual licensing course, you realize why it's regulated, yeah. right? Yes. Because it's not yes. just about having somebody sit on your bed and lash them. And, and close then, your eyes. Yeah. No, no, there's so much more that could happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's so much more that can happen that you're like, oh my God. You know, like there was some girls in class that were like, oh, my lash tag does not do that for me. You know what <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean? And we're like, there you go. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? There you go. You learn something like that sanitation. you're literally yeah. a lash specialty. Like, yeah. You, you, you know everything you, you lashes. You know it all. Like, you know everything all lashes. All of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's just so much more to learn than just application. I mean, it's it's bigger than that, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I had to learn a lot of those things along the way. Um, what helped me a lot is that I'm a cosmetologist, so we take a lot of the same courses. Um, even in cosmetology, we take anatomy. We take infection control, Um we have to learn, you know, diseases of the skin and nails and eyes and scalp. And a lot of people don't know that. They don't know no. that. They think you're we just go, lashing. They think you're yeah, just doing hair or nails. Exactly. Like, we really have to know this stuff 
it's on our state board exams. If we don't pass it, we don't get a license. No. They don't just say, <laughs> and it's, it is in there. Yeah. Yes, it and, is in and there. And you don't just say, oh, you finished your hours, your license check. No. You know, you got this. No, no. People fail it and they have to study again. And, um, you know, for example. And the test is not the same. The test changes. No. Yeah. They Everybody does not have the same exam. They have many variations of the exam. So people don't cheat. One person will have more infection control. One person will have more anatomy. Like, you just don't know. And so it's it's difficult. But, you know, um, you guys graduated. What are your plans now? Like, what are your plans now after graduation? You want to go? <laughs> uh, right now, um, I really, once I get my license, hopefully it will be soon, um, I want to find me a part-time job. Just so I can get my, you know, practice. So I can the practice going, the so going. I can speed up on my, you know, application because I do tend, <coughs> tend to take a little bit. But that's, I'm new. It's part of the process. So it's part of the process. Um, but I do want to work part time because I still don't want to miss because family is so important to me. Yeah, I still I don't want to miss those field trips. Babies. I have my babies. I don't want to miss like... Um, Spelling bees or band, uh, band concerts, concerts yes. or anything like that. So I would like to find me a job working part time if all possible, and also work about kind of build up my clientele. Yes. And then maybe in the future, not maybe in the future, right? Um, Manifest. Yes, rent out like a space and mm -hmm. then work from That's there. That's awesome. But but first, I don't want to just want to jump in the gun and say I'm gonna rent it, and I'm like I don't yeah. have any clientele. Yeah. Right, right. I do have some right now, which I am so grateful for them. But I want to build more, and I want to practice more too. Yeah, because three months, three process. months, uh, 320 hours that you did in school, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. But you still need to practice on humans. Yeah. You need to practice practicing on the mannequin practice, practice, is not practice, the same thing as practicing no, on a human. No, it's not. It's not. There's some easy things on the mannequin. And then there's some easy things on a person Human. and vice versa. There's hard things on the mannequin, hard things. You know what I mean? It's like, tell me about it. Yeah. Like <laughs> we can't pull the inner corners. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the mannequin, you can't, you oh, know, yeah. adjust them like you would an actual person, pull the, the lids up to help you lash faster. Um, isolate the tape. With tape. Back yeah. Like you can't do a lot of things, yeah. but, um, yeah, I think that's, that's really awesome. I know that kids, your kids are very, very important to you. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, sat in offices many years hoping to go to my kids kinder graduation first grade graduation uh, whatever it was right and I hated that when I asked it was like but we need you here mm -hmm. you know and I was just like you don't sorry. have PTO yeah like sorry can't go like I missed everything yeah. you know what I mean yeah. and even though I've been lashing a long time I was doing it for you know part time for a little while and I missed everything I missed everything, and once I started just like, you know what, forget this, I'm going to work on this full time, I made sure I made time for my kids exactly. and for their events and whatever, even if it was just to pick them up from school. So, But it meant a lot to them. Yeah, it meant a lot to them. So I, I get that you want to do like a part-time, you know, lash specialty um, job somewhere. I think that's really going to help yeah. you and your family. Yes. Um. And it, like you said, it's going to help you with um, being able to attend those events for your kids, being there for your family. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a really good goal yeah. for, and that's for you the beauty. to start. That's yeah. the beauty of being your own, your own boss. Yes. You, know, you can work you, with your you schedule. schedule. I mean, you do that. I you, mean, do what you, you, you do what you want yeah, at exactly. your own time. You know, if exactly. you want to work from this time to that time, you're only working from this time to that time. Yeah. And no one can tell you. Absolutely. Oh, you have to work this day. No, no. I don't. I'm my own boss. If, yeah. if you want to work all week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and make a lot of money, you can do that. But if you want to take a break, you can do that too. Yeah, and, exactly. And that's, you know, the, like Alice said, the beauty of being able of the to lash life. work. Yeah. For yourself and, <laughs> and live the lash life. You know what I mean? That's so awesome. Alice, what are you doing after graduation? Uh, I have so many goals. I have yeah. so many things in mind. There's I so know. many Where things are you starting I at? Do. Where are okay, you starting? we're starting <laughs> with teaching. That's okay. my goal, to teach. Okay. Um, that's my next step, starting, if, you know, if everything goes as planned in January, I'll be offering my first class. Okay. Um, obviously, it all starts by building a bunch of, you know, the pre-setup and stuff for your right. class. I'm new to it, you know, yes. but with the class that I took with Anna, right. I feel like I, I got it. I'm, I'm going to know what to do. And you're right. going to learn as you as go. As I go, yes. Yeah. I have to be patient. But, you yes. know, we have an amazing mentor. 
Um, Thank you. That yes, I know that she's definitely. gonna guide me and correct yes, me at absolutely. all times in any given moment. So I feel very com- comfortable and confident in what I plan on doing. Um, after that, um, obviously, I do work from home. I have a small home studio. Um, I want to give myself a year, which is my my timeline of a year to save up as much as I can and open up a small salon yes. first, and then you know, hopefully, with time. I'm thinking within the next five years. I'm yes. thinking good. ahead, but no, good. year at a time. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> hopefully one day I can start my own lash brand and open a, my own storefront um, and teach worldwide. That's awesome. But Those are very awesome goals. You. Yeah. Yeah. You need to have short term goals and, and long term goals, goals because yeah. all those short term goals are going to help you get to your long term goals. Yeah. If you don't know what you're doing tomorrow, there's a problem. Yeah. Right. You need to get yourself a piece of paper, your iPad, something, and you need to create yourself some short term goals like enroll into a certification class, see mm-hmm. if I like it or not. Right. Exactly. That's a lot of reasons why. A lot of us uh, enroll into, you know, certification classes or certificate classes and take those lash classes is to find out if this is for you, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Because you don't want to invest in, it's a big step. in school. It's a big yeah. step. You don't want to invest in school that's going to cost you a couple of thousand dollars and then realize, you know what, this is not for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I a had lot a of friend, sorry to interrupt, I mm-hmm. uh, had a friend who's his, um, his daughter enrolled to get certified. And she was like, I want to do it. I want to do it. So she's like, okay. And he was like, she's not going to have the patience. I already know her. Mm -hmm. But you know what? She wants to do it. Maybe she will. Yeah, yeah. She was so excited. She took the class. She started lashing like the mannequin for three, four days. And then after that. I don't want it. She's like, like, this is not for me. Out the window. (laughs) It's not for everybody, though. It's not for everybody. everybody. This is not for me. Like, uh, this is like, you need, uh, like, patience. You need, like, no, it's just it's it wasn't just working it. Yeah. Yeah. it wasn't working so she, um, yeah, and I'm definitely. like well you know what it's kind of it's good that you actually paid for that certification because if you would have enrolled her in, in school in school yeah. it would have been a couple yeah. thousands and you would have lost a lot of ago, money if I was going to be lashing I would have been like no you're crazy I can't do that yeah, yeah. that sounds crazy like, I know I, I it's crazy how thought. things happened right and you eventually take a turn to where your destiny little is. By little, little by little. Because <laughs> yeah. I feel like lashing was my destiny at some point. I was just like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I did other, other things. And um, I did other things to support the the business that, you know, I wanted eventually. I went back to work. I worked in offices. Uh, I did it for maybe six months. Sometimes I did it for three months. Sometimes I did it for a year. But it was all for a purpose. It was never because I wanted to work a desk job my whole life. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was always for a purpose. Yeah. And um, I felt like this is what I wanted to do. This is what I, you know, longed to do. I would sit there typing away, and then I was just like, I can make more money lashing. (laughs) (laughs) What am I doing here? You know what I mean? I was just always like, oh, my God, I cannot do this forever. Like, if I lashed three people today, I would have made way more money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, it was hard. It was a difficult step to take because not everybody can take that leap. You know what I mean? Like, working for yourself is scary. Yeah. It's not easy. It's um, not. It's not and easy. And you do you do get back what you put in. You really do. So you can't stop now. You got to keep that momentum because if you stop, you will not start back where you yeah. left off. It's mm-hmm. like starting over again. Yeah. And I did that a few times. So I'm telling you from experience because, you know, again, um, we're human. We have things happen to us, whether it's finances, relationships, homes, Family, children, kids. family. I mean, Whatever it is, you know, things happen along the way and you're like, I need to make a little more money. You know, the business that I'm in right now is not sustaining my whole lifestyle. And so I had to go and come back and go and come back. And it's going to happen to you if if it hasn't already. And you just have to keep going. You have to keep going or you're just going to have to start over and over and over. The process is not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. I work. I worked at a hospital before I, well, while I took my course, I was working at a hospital yeah. and I worked there for a year and a half. Well, I worked there for three years, but after I took my course, I was already a year and a half in deep. So then I was like, this is not enough. I can't, I was living off a $400 paycheck a week Yeah. here in, in Texas, in Houston, where we're from that you, you will struggle if you're making that much yes. money. And I felt the frustration and I was like, yeah. what do I do? How do I get out of here? Mm-hmm. So I took my course, and it took me a year and a half to quit my job. Yeah. To lash full-time. Right. 
And in that in the in a matter of that that spawn of a year and a half, I was going to work from seven in the morning to four thirty and in the afternoon, and I would go home and lash. I would literally take yeah. twenty minutes to get home. That was my life. Three minutes to change, five minutes to eat, two minutes to set up, and I would start lashing. You were on the schedule. Five yeah. I was on every minute count. <laughs> That's the lash and life, I was guys, on the for sure. That's the lash life, for sure. Five, seven, and sometimes I would lash at nine just to make that extra yep. money to be like, I've totally oh, been I can there. do this. I, I got this. Mm-hmm. I got this. You can do it. But it took me a year and a half to build the clientele. Yes, to, it takes time. To be confident and feel secure of taking that next step. But you stayed consistent. Oh, yeah. I, never, I didn't take consistent. a break. I would work yeah. Monday through Sundays. Exactly. I would take no breaks. And I wouldn't see my family. You I miss out on a too. lot of stuff. Yeah. And it's overwhelming because you're like, I miss my parents. You live in the mm-hmm. same house as your parents. And but you, you don't, don't see them. them. You don't yeah. see them. You don't yeah, talk to you them. you don't see them. And I'm just like, I haven't said, I haven't you're had You're stuck in your little room. No. And that's your world for the next but couple now, of hours. I can yeah. do what I want. Yeah. yeah. And exactly. this is only the beginning, but yeah. it's a matter of time. And you can't get frustrated because in the works, you're going to feel frustrated. It gets exactly. hard. It gets really hard. hard. You want to quit yes. sometimes. You really do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to quit. I'm just um, starting to say I want to quit. No, <laughs> yeah, no, it yeah, is, it is hard. Be because it's so hard on me because I have, not only do I have the lashing, but I also have the kids and I have to cook yes. and I have to clean. And the I dog. Have to do, I've and been my there. Dogs. I've been there. It's just like, ugh. Yeah. But I'm not giving up. Yeah. I just have to take like, take just like, just yeah. take a break, just breathe. Breathe. And that's it. And yes. we're not saying this to scare anyone, but we're no. being realistic. We're, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the, the real, the real deal. It's the lash life, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's literally. Really is. Like, yeah. I did that, too. I would come home from work, and somebody was already waiting for me in their car at my driveway. And I didn't go and change. I just threw my purse down, and I went straight into my lash You're room. Like, and, yeah, and, and I'm like, come on, girl. And then, you know, I'd set up in front of them and all that stuff, and... That was like most of my days. But where and are you now? Yeah, I know. And but that's what I'm saying. Like what you put in, guys, is what you're gonna get back. If your bed feels too good for you on the weekends and you're like, I don't wanna see clients today, that's exactly where you're going with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's your future. <laughs> your yeah. bed, not money. Yeah. And who I don't know about you, but I would rather make money than be in bed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like money better. I got up this morning you know I mean? at 7.30 I know, I to know laugh with somebody before coming yeah. here. Yeah, I was like, you better hurry up. <laughs> I'm like, girl, my makeup and my hair is ready. I just have to change. Yeah, and you know, um, when you start out, it's really important to take clients as they come, yeah. right? You can't pick and choose, Take guys. it all. You can't be all I can always have that in know. mind. All just, you've always said that all in it. class yeah. and yeah. all the time, like, I'm like, I cannot be picky. Yeah. You cannot you be know, picky. Right now, I'm just building clientele. So if they want to come you at this everybody. time, I have to take yeah. them, you know, I have to take them in. You have to take them in. And I would laugh. And they'll feel that, like, appreciation. They're like, oh, my God, she's going out of her way. And that's how you'll create your list of loyals. Yes. yes. Because you were accommodating them yes. to their time. Yes. You know, they didn't yeah. accommodate to you. And people's lives change. Today, they may need, you know, I had customers that needed me to lash them at 6 a.m. And I, I sacrificed my time and I lashed them at 6 a.m. And I was like, hubby, you take the kids to school because I'm going to be lashing, you know. And he did that for me so that I can, you know, t- grab those customers at yeah. 6 a.m. And, you know, their schedule changed eventually. They mm-hmm. switched jobs or their lifestyle changed or whatever. And now I'm lashing them at regular hours. You and know what I mean? Clients. And now they're clients for life, you yeah. know. So you don't know. Right now they may need you to lash them at 6 a.m. Next time it might just be 6 p.m. You know what I mean? So you got to take the clients as they come in. You can't pick and choose. You can be like, oh, well, not today, girl. I'm too busy. You know what I mean? You need to like, go sleep. Yeah. I, need, I'm I have here. another appointment, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go get my hair done. I'm going to go see the Astros. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, ma'am, if your client needs to come in and that's your only client for the entire week, what are you doing saying yeah. no? Yeah, yeah, no, you can't. Yeah. You what can't are you afford doing to say no. no. You yeah. just can't. How are you planning on making clients? Yeah, no, right? You can't. You, you can't. But, you know, guys, uh, school, I know, you know, I've, I didn't go to Lash Extension Specialty School. I went to cosmetology school. Which and, is even more hours. Oh, my God. I felt like I was going to die. <laughs> I wanted to quit so many times. I swear my kids were the ones who were like, it's okay, mom. Aww. You know what I mean? And you had your kids while you were in school. Yeah, I had my kids while I was in school. I had, um, I had to work really late hours, which I know you did as well. Yeah. Um, because I wasn't making any money going to school. I was there nine to five sometimes so I had to leave actually at some point to go get a job again and pay for everything you know um 
because like I said, life happens, you're human, right? And then when I was in a better place, I went back and it was so hard because I already had like a steady um, flow of income coming in mm-hmm. and then cutting that off to part-time hours. And you cut it, cut it. And it was like, oh my <laughs> you God. Cut it, cut it. You know, and so I remember saying like, this is so hard. I don't know if I can do this. And, you know, having my kids and, you know, my support system saying, yes, you can. You're almost there. You're like almost the motivation done. was yeah. there. Yeah. So, you know, it's it gets really hard. But most of all, the rules and the studying, what were your challenges at school? Like, what was it that you were just like, I can't do this because of this? Like, <laughs> everything. Just- <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> I know. For me, it was the mom life. The, the <laughs> wife life, like, you know. Um, Mom, my stomach hurts. Yes, I would get a call every single day from my, my middle child, Ivan. He would call me that uh, his stomach was hurting, that he didn't want to do this. So I had to, like, I thought it was an emergency. So I'm like, I'll be back. I need to answer the phone. And I will go outside. And he's like, Mom, I want to go home. And I'm like, no, you just can't go home. I'm at school. I'm at school. school. <laughs> and then, you know, going, you know, I would go to school from 9 to 2. So I would drop him off at school. And then I would go to school, like be there all day and then go home. And then I had to cook and pick them up from after school and then make lunch for my husband, cook dinner. And then wash, sometimes clean. wash, clean, yes, take care of the dogs, oh take them, you know, just do everything. And even though my my son, my oldest son would help me a lot and my husband would too, but my husband would work a lot too. Yeah, he works long hours, right? He works a lot of hours. So I'm like, it's just really me. And um, I think the biggest is sometimes we didn't have time to study. Y'all would see me yeah. like, I'm like, shoot. I said, I didn't I text s- you at 10 p.m. and you're like, I just sat down to study. And I'm, I'm like, like yeah, I'm like, and sometimes I don't even want to study yeah. because I was so drained from I all day long. Yes. You'd read my little study sheets in class. Yes. Like, here, <laughs> read them, yeah, yeah, we, we would like, test. here, study this, study that, look at the highlight. And I would kind of like browse yeah. through it. But since Ms. Anna was so great in teaching us, sometimes you really have to study. Yeah, yeah. I Aww, mean, I'm dead you. serious because, and we were like so, we would all get along so good in class that we would all help each other. Yeah. And that kind of like helped us too to yeah. move on to taking the test. I, den- I definitely felt that dynamic between all of you guys. You guys had a very good class and, and a lot of good classmates and you helped each other a lot, whether it was with notes or studying or just supplies. supplies. Yeah, you guys mm-hmm. really helped each other. But yeah, I can definitely see how your personal life would make it so hard just to even get those 15 minutes of study. Even to get to school. One time I didn't have, I I stayed stuck in traffic (laughs) for four hours. (laughs) Oh my for four God. hours, it was so so During bad. An event. Yeah. I my battery died. I ran out of gas. Oh, you had a cake. I, I had, had the a cake. cake. The cake melted. I had a cake. The cake melted. I was crying. <laughs> uh, but you know what? At the end of the day, I made it home safe. Yes. But I did miss uh, whatever was going on in school. We had an event. Yeah, we had, we had, had an event. international event. Yeah. yeah, it was a fun day um, you missed. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes you have to miss because my kids would get sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. You know, mm-hmm. and that's something that you just can't help because, you know, nobody can take care of them, but you, they need your mom. And you're human. Mom. Yeah. And it happens. Human, Things happen. Yeah, and... Um, that's the real life. Like, I don't think there's anybody that was like, oh, it was a piece of cake, right? No, it wasn't. Um, if that's you, like, how the heck did you do that? <laughs> if that was a piece of cake, like, what? Mm. What do you mean it was yeah, a piece of no. cake? <laughs> it wasn't a piece of cake. No, it was hard. It is hard. It's it's challenging. You didn't want, it very challenging. One time I went to school and I was, like, crying in there because they were, like, you know, I don't know what's happening with Yvonne, you know, at school. And oh, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. my God, this and this. I don't know if you noticed that day that I was... Like crying in class. Crying in class. And you kind of like looking at me like, She gave me that on? look. Like, like something's going happening on? here. Yeah. yeah. And, and then she I was could like, always sense it. Yeah. You could yes. always sense it. All, all the time. Of time. Every all time. Of time. Every time. Everything was happening with any of you. I'm very intuitive. And so I noticed, you know, other students too. And I would like look at them while I was giving theory. And I, I do a lot of eye contact. Yes. Yeah. And so I know when someone like, is not okay. <laughs> because I can see the... Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or the and so I'm like, you don't want to look at me because there's something going on. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Well so, that Dave, I think if I would have looked at you, you I would have probably cried. cried. Yeah. <laughs> and I I know sometimes that it gets hard in class and I don't bring things up for that exact same reason because I know you're probably going through something. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to be like, come here. And then we bro- both break yes. down. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Literally. So I, I give people their space so that, you know, 
I look at you like, I know what's going on with you. It's okay. You know what I mean? And then I asked you later, I think, like, I don't know, it was the next day. I was yeah. like, what's been going on? You're like, oh, you know, something's been going on at school. Yeah. And, and then so it was easier I to talk that. about and you <coughs> yeah. put it out of, your, out of your chest. Because I know if I'm going through something, I I like to talk to everybody about their problems. Like, I want to help you, mm -hmm. right? But I don't want you to help me because I'm going to cry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the type that if you ask me what's wrong and you grab me like this, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So don't touch me. Don't hug I me. Like don't I like to give people me. their space. And I like people to give me my space. Like, I've been, I've been through some stuff. And people say, like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. I don't yeah. want to talk to you. Because if I talk to you, I'm you're, gonna, you're gonna get nothing from me but crying. <laughs> and I'm not that much tears. of a, I'm not that much of a crybaby, right? But either way, um, you know, I like to keep people their space. But Alice, what was one of your challenges? I guess just time management. Yeah, um, it's hard. That's I hard. am big. I don't have any kids. Um, I do have a boyfriend. I have my family. Um, I'm a big, 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 big sister. I I'm always in their lives. Mm -hmm. um, my little brother, my little sister was also, she's still in school, but she was in school with me. So at school, even though you think you're away from home, I was still being an older sister to her. Yes. So while being at school, I dealt with her, obviously, like, you mm -hmm. know, whatever thing she had going on, mm -hmm. it was always just like, can y'all get my sister? And I would have to step out of class. Like, yeah. I'll be back. My sister's in the restroom or she's in class. I'll be back. Yeah. Um, every Friday since I started school um, up until two, three weeks ago. Since I finished school, from beginning to start, my little brother had football games yeah. every Thursday or Friday. So every Thursday or Friday, I would have to, after school, go home, lash, and then go to his games. I, w I didn't miss a single game all season because I was like, that's my baby. That right. He's not a baby, but that's yeah, my baby. No, so I, get that. I had to be there. Um, you know, sometimes after school, my mom had doctor's appointments or she had to go run errands. My mom doesn't drive much. So mm -hmm. I had to be the oldest daughter and be yeah. like, no, mom, like, I'll figure it out. Give me just give me 30 minutes. Um, I had to move my schedule around sometimes. Um, I would get out of school at 2.30. I would la I, w I lived two minutes from the school, so I would get yeah. out of school at 2.30, and I was lashing by 2.40. And yeah. then I would lash 2.40, two, two, two and then I would finish working, like, at 8.30, sometimes 9. Yeah, I feel that. I still yeah. had to have dinner. I still had to be study. a girlfriend or a daughter or a friend. I still had to study. We still had sometimes homework. We yes. still had sometimes little things that we had to work on. I'm a big... Projects or something. I'm, I'm a big person when it comes to... If I know I have a test tomorrow, I'm going to study. So right. I would stay up till 2, 3 in the morning. Sometimes I would feel like I and couldn't sleep. And then you still sleep. had time to answer my, my text because I yeah. wouldn't text oh, you. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm <laughs> a very <laughs> helpful what do I person. Do with that? Like, if you yeah, need me, girl, what's up? Yeah. What I'm doing and I'm going to help you and then I'll finish my stuff later. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then, you know, keeping an appearance is also really hard, you know. It is really hard. Showing up to school, pretending I'm not tired or about to have a breakdown in the yeah. middle of class. like And then you, you have, have to see to clients at school because at school you see clients yeah. too. Yes. You're not just working on your mannequin all day. Yes. The state requires you to have live models. At school, So yeah. they would come in randomly during business hours and if somebody came in and it was your turn or your turn or stay. somebody else's turn, you had to you work had to through stay. the whole. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if it takes you three or four hours to lash. You have to finish that client. And that's a big thing like to add to a little bit of the stress, but because of those clients, you have so much more experience in just lashing on a mannequin, right? Um, so it helps so much, but it's also, I know, another thing to add to those on top, challenges. On top yeah. of everything. And that was one of my things um, when I was going to school is time management. Like Alice said, I, I was so exhausted. I was so exhausted from going to school getting home, working, and working late hours, and not seeing my kids. We were in the same place, just didn't see them, didn't see or them. Or talk to them, or yeah. interact with Sometimes, them. Sometimes, you know, um, I didn't eat dinner till 9 or 10, and that's when my kids ate dinner too, and I felt so bad that they were eating so late, and they were so tired for school because of my dreams, you know what I mean? And, but they were always so supportive. They, you know, they never complained. They were always like, mommy, we love you. Mm -hmm. And that's what keeps you motivated yeah. is those people your in your life that are like, mommy, I love you. Mommy, you can do this. You know, your spouse, like your, your yeah, your everything. family, your sisters. My sisters were very, very supportive too. Um, they were always my models. I have three <laughs> sisters and 
They were always like, you can do it on me. Oh, hey, guys, I got something new. You can try it on me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so they always <laughs> let me. And that keeps me, you going. It yeah. makes you excited. And they were the first ones that I was able to take pictures of for models. Like, And then my sister would promote me. I remember she'd be like, you know, go to my sister for lash extensions. And she would, like, take videos of her lashes and post them <laughs> for me, you know. And um, like I said, they they really helped me keep going because – a lot of the times, guys, you stop doing what you love because of other people around you because they shut you down. Mm -hmm. And it's not okay for those people. If it's not your dream, why are you shutting uh, someone else's dream down? You know what I mean? If it's not your dream, who cares? Support them if that's yeah. what they want to do. Yeah. Or don't say anything at yeah, all. Yeah, don't say anything at all. I think that I would have done it sooner in my life um, because when I was 18, I wanted to do something in the beauty industry. Um, but I'd listen to people around me that were like, that doesn't make any money. Why yeah. do you want to do that? Like, mm, I don't know. I, I've never seen anybody get rich off of that. Or, I have you know? people in my own family telling yes. me that. And it's that horrible for people it, in your own sucked. family It was to do sad that. When, they yeah. were, when they were like, what do you want to do? You know, I had just graduated college, uh, high school. Uh, I'm like, well, you know, I've thought about going into the beauty industry. That's not going to make you any money. For what? What are you yeah, doing? That's you exactly, have to go to college. You have to yeah, do this. That's exactly what I went through. I'm like, um, okay. So, you know, even to this day, you know, I have a few people tell me like, oh, how's your little business going? And I'm like, yeah. oh, it's going good. Thank you for yeah. asking. I, Thank I did you. the same thing uh, when people would ask me. I'm like, it was fine. It's yeah, fine. It's good. Whether I was struggling or that month I was making big money or whatever the, you know, whatever or no it was money, or no know? money. I said it was fine. Yeah. And you know what? I, I heard about people talking about me. I heard the little rumors and the little back talk, and she said this about you and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, that's okay. I didn't let yeah. it bother me. I didn't tune into it. I didn't post about it. I didn't talk. Nothing. I didn't Nothing. reply to it. I just kept going. And I said, you know what? I don't care. I don't care because I've already let people interfere with a lot of things that I want to do. I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to stay motivated. And like I said, um, you know, years back, um, I was teaching small classes like, you know, small little certificate classes or certification classes. And um, I remember my husband telling me, like, what if you teach? Like, what if you go teach? Yeah. And I was just like, I know, I, I want to get there eventually, right? And so it was something that I had thought about and that was in my mind. And it just came into existence one day. Like, it just fell in my lap How? one day, you know? Like, what? how did everything just... Everything Fine. happened so fast. It really does happen so fast. And I felt like it was because of the seeds that I planted, you know. And people say that a lot. Oh, plant your seed, plant your seed. It's really a thing, guys. You have to plant that seed. I never stopped working. I worked really hard. Um, I went back to cosmetology school. And because I went back to cosmetology school, um, you know, I had left because of I needed more money. Uh, and working part-time was not enough. So... I went back to school, and I knew one of the directors already because I had been there prior. Okay. And she just came up to me one day because she knew that I knew people that and had gone to school. And you were a student at the time? I was a student. Okay. Um, she came to me one day and said, hey, um, we're hiring a teacher, you know, if you know anybody, if any of the girls that you used to talk to. And I was like, hmm, well, I can think of a few, but I'll let them know. And so then... I actually texted one of my friends and said, hey, the school's hiring. If you're interested, I know it's closer to work for and you. And it was for, like, last year? I had no idea what it was for. I had no idea what it was for. You just knew I didn't even ask. teacher. I didn't even ask. <laughs> so you're offering a job Yeah, you know I didn't even for? know what it was for. I was just like, hey, girl, and I reached out to somebody else, just trying to do the director a favor yeah, and yeah. reaching out to some people because right. I know they needed somebody to teach. And I was about to graduate. I was just, like, maybe weeks away from graduation, right? And um, I was like, my friend's asking me all these questions. And I'm like, Shh, I don't know. <laughs> Contact this lady. I was like, call, call her. The call her. <laughs> call the school. And uh, how much do they pay? And what is it for? And I was just like, oh, I don't know. And so then I was like, let me just go ask before I start telling all these people. And I don't know any information, <laughs> yeah. right? So I go over there. <coughs> and I'm like, hey, miss, what is it for? Like, what is it for? And she's like, well, we need somebody lash extensions and I was just like oh ding 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 <laughs> you do and I was like well you I know do it. <laughs> how much does it pay or 
you know, what is exactly the, are the hours? Like I started asking more info and then she was just like, well, don't you do lash extensions? And I was like, yeah. And so then we kind of like connected. We were just like, huh. Yeah, gave each other that You know, look. we were like, huh. And so we discussed it a little bit and she's like, go talk to, you know, the direct, the other director. And we kind of have conversations and it ended there. And I was just like, out of the question, whatever, you know, something's happened. And I was just like, out of the question, I'm about to graduate. I'm just going to go open my salon. That's what That was my goal, to go open my salon, right? And I had everything in order to do it. I just needed that license. And so that was my goal. And then I I got called and said, hey, yeah, we want to give it to you. And I was like, what? You do? Like, yeah. What, like me? Yeah, what you're asking for, we're going to give it to you. And I was just like, okay. I was like, all right. You know, and they're like, but I need you to do a trial run, Right. And so I was like, I'm telling you, like my last week or so of graduation, and they oh made God. me do a trial run in the classroom. And you've never really taught before. I've never you taught would just before. Do like certificates and yeah, things like I taught that. certification classes, certificate classes, really. And so they're like, go do a trial run with one of our one of our um, substitutes in there. Mm. And I was just like, okay. And I promise you, I walked in there, and it seemed natural. Yeah, and because you are a natural. Yeah, and I started and, and everything yeah. and anything. No, yeah. really, I started talking and I started talking about some stuff and and you know the girls were like, "Can you go back to this?" Because we never got taught this because our course, our teacher left kind of like in the middle of our course and we didn't have. And I felt so bad for them, so I was like, "Yes." And I started telling them all this stuff, and then I was just like, "Oh right, I have to give theory," so I would open the book, and everything that I had told them was in the book, mm. and I was just like, "Oh my god, like I do know my stuff, oh, <laughs> you know? like I do know my stuff," so. Um, I just started talking from experience, and when I started going into some chapters, remember I told you guys that, they're like, yeah, you already had told us that, and, yeah. you know, um, I, I felt really bad for them because I didn't get to be with my very first class 100%. the entire time, um, but I hope I felt that they learned something, you know what I mean? Um, I still am in contact with some of those girls. Um, a lot of them started lashing already as well. Um, but it just, it fell in my lap. It really did. Mm -hmm. I wasn't out looking. Um, That's how you know that it was yeah, meant to be. Yeah, it was meant to be yeah. for me, really. And I love it. I love teaching. It's a passion. I feel like, um, like, I don't want to say that I have a gift, but I feel but like. But you do. <laughs> <laughs> but you do. Period. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but um, I feel like. I'm able to show someone something in an easier way than if somebody else was explaining it. Yeah. I mean, I you love know your what class. I, mean? yeah. I really enjoy being it in there. It feel like class, though. No, it felt like more like family. Yeah. Like, yeah. And we're just you know, sharing information. Yeah, yeah I, I really try to get that environment going in my classes. I don't like to be like, we're taking a test. Everybody has to be quiet. Um, I don't know if maybe in this class I did it, but I know I did it in every class where I'm like, you guys can talk to each other. Like at the beginning. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody's like really timid well, and I think we started talking to each no, other since day one. Yeah. Yeah. talking to each other. Most of my classes. <laughs> we talking to everybody. Yeah, most of my classes, I'm just like, okay, you can talk to each other. You don't have to be 100% quiet. You can talk while you work. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like it to be like, you have to do this and you have to do it silently. You no, know what I mean? No, it got to the point where we were even calling you like, dude, guess what happened? And yeah. they're just like, oh my God, that's my teacher. Why am I calling your dude? <laughs> or, oh my God, girl. <laughs> miss, I know. Miss. But, you know, I like to keep our communication very open i want everyone to feel comfortable as as they need to be because like i said school's hard guys school's hard and then going to a school that you hate is harder yeah. so i want you know your class to be um mellow and chill and you're able to say everything to each other mm -hmm. um you're and like i tell all of my classes like a class you're sh you should be able to talk to each other because you learn from each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't talk to each other and, you know, remember I would move you guys around, like yes. you're going to sit here, you're going to sit there, and you're going to sit there. Because if you're going to sit next to her the entire time, that's the only person that you're going to learn yeah. from. Yeah. But if I move you to that table, that table, and that table, you probably picked up something from there, there, and there, and now your knowledge you is would. stronger. And you you would. know what I mean? And you would pick up something. And then you would always also, like, uh, like you would tell me, like you help her, Make sure, like, you guys help each other when you guys are lashing. Like, yes. you would pair us up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that also helped, Yes, too. Um, because it can be challenging to lash by yourself, especially when you're Tell new. Tell me about it. Yeah, and <laughs> when with you're models. starting. Oh, my so God. So I would definitely say, hey, like, you know, sit with her, help her, or I'm going to step out of the room, pair with her, see but if she needs anything. But sometimes you wouldn't even have to tell us. Like, yeah. the girls would just, like... 
oh, I'm gonna lash today. Oh, like I'll sit with you and I'll help you. I'll help you. It yeah. was just or we were like, so and that's the best way to do it. Can you help yeah. me? Like, am I doing this right? Or where yeah. do we, where, so what do I do in this case? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I've I've had some students in the past that weren't too happy to show somebody else what level they were on or show them tricks that they knew or whatever. And I would tell everybody, like, I'm going to show you everything I know. You know why? Because, like I told you guys, if I do a volume set and you do a volume set, our volume sets are going to be very different. Yeah. They're going to be different styles, right? So why are you scared to show somebody something? Are you scared that they're going to level up and you're not? Yeah. Like, no. you like know what I mean? Yeah. So it's sale para todos. Yeah. The sun shines for everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just like there's like um, a million clothing stores and you go to all of them, there's a lot of lash checks too, right? Mm -hmm. But not all those clothing stores are for you. That's why you go to different mm -hmm. ones, exactly. right? So a lot of people are like, oh, no, I don't want to do it. There's too many lash checks out there. There's too many lash artists. Um, well, that's what I said. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even yeah. people like, tell you that. Cool. They kind yeah. of, you're kind of like, mm, you right. get discouraged. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're like, you get well, discouraged. Really, that's true, but you go to the grocery store. You go to a lot of them. And you see all these different kinds of breads, different yeah. brands and everything. Exactly. They're there for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with the lash text. Exactly, exactly. And I feel like no one in our class was envious at all. Like No, and you, it shouldn't be that way. I I mean, I'm speaking for myself. If Imelda, which she sat across from me almost the whole entire class, um, <laughs> she would ask me, like, Alice, how do you think I should do this? And I'm like, oh, well, look, I do it like this, this, and this. And, and I would break everything down, like, piece by piece by piece by piece. You even send us a supply list. I would send list. supply list. <laughs> yes. I, I was yes, that person. Absolutely. I was that person yes. in class. Absolutely. I made the Amazon list for yeah. everybody. Like, here, this is some for of the sure. things. Like, Miss Anna would give us a list, and the girls were like, what do I pick? Which one do I choose? And I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to help you. I'm like, this is what I use. I'm like, Miss yeah. Anna, look, is this is this okay? She was like, yeah, 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 girl, that's good. And mm -hmm. then even for our test, like, I was, I felt like sometimes I was a little annoying just because I was always on top of the stuff. But I'm I only, annoying. <laughs> She's I like, was, I was a little annoying. I was just a little annoying <laughs> because I was, I just wanted everyone to feel like it was so easy the way yeah. that it felt to me. No, I know what so you're I saying. So I was very like, I'm like, girl, like for our TDLR exams, I made a list of everything that needs to be in the bag until this day and i still look at that. all of the girls look yeah. at that list yeah. so i was very like no like here no, take my terrible. knowledge take all yes. of it take everything and it's okay to do that and you know there's a lot of lash techs that don't want to share anything with you mm -hmm. they don't want to share like even what kind of tweezers they use and i like, promise girl, you like yeah. You know Literally. what I mean? Yeah, like I, I would tell them all the time, hey guys, I, I, I use just these, these tweezers. tweezers. These oh lashes. my God, I really like them. And then I gave them the link and they sold out. And I was like, dang it. Like, <laughs> and we got the free I, wanted, I wanted to buy some more. And, you know, I got and them. And those for, are really bad. Those are really yeah. good. They're I got them for really 20 good. bucks. And then they you got them for seven ninety nine. Yeah, they bought them for seven yeah, I got them for $10, bucks. I think. And they sold out. And yeah. I was just like, dang, I can't even go buy anymore. Yeah, I know. And they said they don't have them in stock because oh, I've been so checking. I yeah, I, I checked them for a backup. So, yeah. you know, even if I give you the tweezers that I'm using, they may not even work for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, quit being a hater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you used what, like the curved tweezer to isolate. Yeah, and I use like the the angled yeah. one to isolate. She's like, oh, I can I give you one. all the tools that I use and work for me, and hand them over. But they might not. Work. They might not work for no. you because and, and what we use is not going to be the same no. work as yours. Exactly. Like, like you know what I mean. Like I said, if 20 people are in the room and we all had a volume set, everybody's going to go towards a different one because yeah. everybody's style it's and different. preferences are different. Mm -hmm. So just because you give somebody like, oh, I use these pads for the under eye, doesn't mean she's going to go and make millions off of it. You know what I mean? That depends on you. Yeah. You know, yeah. your hustle is your hustle. Mm -hmm. So if you tell me how you do that volume set and I do it and I make millions off of it and you don't, Ma'am, I'm sorry that our hustle is not the same. It right. had nothing to do with the volume more. set. You know what I mean? Like, if my hustle is like that, then, hey, you're not doing something yeah. right. Yeah. So it's not about um, me wanting to not show you something because you might profit off of it or you might do this with it. Hey, if you're afraid, it's probably because you're not on your game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So get on your game. And in my classes, I'd be like, ask me anything. You know what I mean? I had a girl in one of my other classes that um, was always asking me questions. And the girls would laugh and be like, 
oh, uh, she probably knows because she probably already asked Miss Anna. She'd be like, what kind of glue do you use? Oh, okay. And what do you do when blah, 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 blah? And the girls would be like, golly, you ask her so many <laughs> questions. And what do you do when blah, 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 blah? You know, and I would tell her, I do this and I do that. And, you know, I take care of this. And she would write stuff down, guys. She would write it down and people would laugh. And um, she would buy some of the stuff that I would tell her to buy. She would do some of the stuff that I would tell her to do. And you know what? She improved so much, but because she had an interest, mm -hmm. right? She had an interest and she would pick my brain and I would tell everybody else, it's okay. Cause they would laugh and be like, golly, why are you asking Miss Anna that? And I'd be like, Girl, it's okay. Ask me whatever you want. Exactly. I'm an open book. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? mean? I still text you. Like, yeah. how do I... Like, the other day, I texted him. I'm like, how do I do this? Yeah. So... I wasn't loud, but I would I would sit across from you, and I'm like, yes, I'm like, what do you do? And, da -da -da -da. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, this, this, and this, and that. And then you had the whole class listening, and I was just like... Because somebody yeah, else would be then, like, oh, what are they talking about? Like, you know and, what I mean? And what about when this happens? Yeah. Or what if this client tells you this? Like, she was literally an open book. Yeah, yeah. I don't hide open anything, book. guys, because... And that's why you're where you're at today. Yeah, like, I don't hide what anything. What you gave is what you get. Yeah, literally. like, I'm not a hater, guys. I really don't. Like, I don't care if you ask me, how do you do this? I'm going to tell you. If I know it, I'm going to tell you. If I don't know it, I'm going to be like, I really don't know. But, but you let's know, figure it out. Yeah, we can figure it out or whatever. Yeah. Um, because in the lash world, you're still learning there's new trends every day. There's new products every day. I mean, there's things happening all the time. And so you always have to feed your brain. And I may not have 100% of the answers, but if I know something about it, I'm going to tell yeah. you. Because, I mean, what good does it do for me to just keep it all inside? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's okay to share your knowledge. It's okay. That's you know? what we're here for. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what we're here for. And eventually... You know, people see that you're in it to help. Um, I have people all the time that say, hey, how do I start my own business in lashing? What do I have to do first? Somebody just texted me the other day and said, what do I need to do first? Do I need to get this or do I? what do I do? What's a DBA? How do I get one? And I gave her all the steps. I have uh, my own salon as well. I could have easily said, oh, I'm not going to tell her. It took me yeah. a lot of hard yeah. work to yeah. get like, there. I figured yeah. it out by myself. Yeah, like I think nobody told me. Nobody gave me the information. Yeah. But you know what? Like I said, it's in your hustle. I can give you the cheat sheet. It's up to you to take yeah. charge. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what information you give someone. Um, it's not how bad you want it. Yeah, it's how bad you want it. Now, I've had some experiences where... People ask me information that it did take me really hard, hard work to get. And sometimes that does bother me because, like, for example, I had somebody, and I think I had told you guys this story, I had somebody that would come get lashed. And um, she asked me about taking a class. She knew nothing about lash extensions at all, right? And I invested a lot of money into my lash class and the other other things that I took, right? And then, of course, cosmetology school. And it was hard, you know? And she was like, oh, how much is your lash class? And I was like, I told her, like, this is a beginner's class. This is what you'll learn, blah, blah, blah. And so she went about it the wrong way. The next time she booked an appointment, she was taking pictures of all my stuff, of the products I used. She brought a friend, um, and I felt like she was kind That's of cheating me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like she was kind of cheating me out of it, and I was just like, "If you would have had, if you Ask would have not it. come to me sideways that way, I would have given you everything. I would have given you the some information. Yeah. You know what I mean? But for you to do that, that's wrong. You know, guys, there's a, there's a way to approach someone about getting information. You don't come at someone sideways or trying to sneak it out of them, or you know, it does cost people time, money." Um, just sacrifice to get where they are, to get the knowledge they need. And for some, someone to just come and try to do it like that yeah, is so, it's, the it's easy horrible. Way. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Or someone texted me one time and said, Hey, um, I'm interested in lashing. And I'm like, Okay. They're like, What products should I buy? And I'm like, Okay, well, I do offer a certification class because this is what I teach in I my class. Exactly. Class. Yeah. And I'm like, You don't want to pay. 
Like I can give you tips if you're a lash tech. I can give you tips. I can. I had girls text me and say, "Hey, what map did you use for that lash set?" And I'd yeah. be like, "I use blah blah blah." Did they ever give me a shout out? No, no. <laughs> but yeah. I kept it moving. You know what I mean? Uh, the next time they made that map and they put it on Facebook or Instagram, and people were like, "Oh my god, girl, that map is so so cute! Like that lash set is awesome." Did they ever say like, "Oh yeah, my friend, blah blah blah," or sent inspo it to me? by da da da? No. no. But I just was like, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I kept it moving. And, you know, that's that's cool. Whatever. I give you the information. I don't expect a shout out. But, you know, sometimes if it's nice. sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's sometimes nice it's for nice. you to be like, hey, my homegirl hooked me up or, you know, my friend hooked me up or whatever. Um, I'll, I'll give you the information. I don't expect a shout out every single time. But. When but I'm it giving is nice you, to feel gratitude, though. Yeah, when I'm giving you a whole yeah, freaking map. Yeah, yeah. When I'm giving you a whole freaking map, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That, you know, people charge money for. Mm -hmm. People um, sell those things. Yeah, people sell those. They have e-books e of mapping for like yeah, $150. They have e-books of mapping. Yeah. And, you know, crazy. something, you know, there's some things, it's like etiquette. You know what I mean? It's like some things you shouldn't ask. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can't ask me <laughs> to tell you the steps on passing the test, you know, for the licensing exam when it cost me sweat, blood, and tears yeah. to get there. You know what I mean? There's certain things you can ask, certain things you can't. Like, tell me how you did this. Tell me how you did that mapping. Tell me what glue you used. Tell me what tweezers you used. I, I can give you all that information, right? I'm not going to teach you a full class, guys. Yeah. I can't teach you a full class. If you want to have a full class, come and do a full class, right? And get all the information you need. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's... There's etiquette when it comes Which to... Which you are going to have a class soon. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to have a class soon, guys. <laughs> but anyway, um, there are certain things you should and shouldn't ask, right? In my there's classes... There's a line. Yeah, there's a line. Um, like, you're not going to go ask, um, you know, somebody that does fillers, like lip fillers or whatever. You're not going to be like, tell me how to inject. Yeah, right? where, where should I put the needle? Where should I put the needle? <laughs> what products are you buying? What should I buy? Where do I get it from? Yeah. Uh, give me all the information, girl. I know you went to school. You're probably an RN. You probably work under a physician, but give me the information, yeah. right? Yeah, no, There's a line. Like There's a line, right? And when I say I'm an open book, I'm an open book, but don't take advantage of the fact that... There's a limit. Mm -hmm. I worked hard. I worked hard. And I'm not going to give you a full class for free. Like, why are you not investing in your future like I did? Yeah. If that's where you... It, and that's where you draw the line. Yeah. Because for yeah. for some time, you're just like, oh, yeah, I don't <laughs> mind sharing. Let me tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. But by the time they've asked you 150 questions, you're just like, It's like, why are Wait. you not taking my course? Exactly. She already like, took the course just by she answering took, the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like, literally. why does Alice have to pay for a course and not you? Mm -hmm. Why do you feel like you don't have to pay for a course, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm an open book. If you're a lash tech and you have some questions, if you have some incidents, if you have emergency cases, I'm an open book. Hey, you know, Anna, this happened to me the other day. My client was burning up, you know, with the, with the remover. What do I do? Like, hey, you know, next time do this and it's going to help you. I'm an open book to that extent, you know, but... Don't try to get a free course out of me. You know what I mean? Like, golly, I have to make a living here. But you know what I mean? Like, no, you wouldn't want me to ask you about your business and be like, well, how did you do it? And how did you do this? And how did you do that? And how did you do this? And this is not fair. You know what I mean? I can give you a lot of information. Like I said, you know, I, I can tell you how to open the business, but there's a lot of information more than that that you and need to have the way that you run things is not the same way that everybody else no. is going to run things no. you have to come up with your own system for it to work for you what if the way you do your things is not the way that exactly. she's going to do her yeah. things it's not the way that i'm going to do my things yeah so the only thing that you can possibly do is ask for advice and that's it yeah. ask for advice for advice yes. Yes. yes and then just go on about your day and little by little figure it out if you get stuck hey anna like I'm doing this. I looked everywhere. Do you think you can help me with the next step? That's yeah. very different than trying to be like, tell me this. What's the, da -da, yeah. da -da, what's next? Like, like no. you're writing the whole class down. Everything down. You know what I mean? And I'm no. like, okay, it seems like you need to take a course. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. it seems like you need to take a course right now. It seems like you don't know much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, if you're asking me this many questions, ma'am, you need to go back to square one and you need to take a course, right? Or take an advanced course. 
And or a refresher course. Or a refresher course. You, sometimes you need just refresher courses. Course, just take a course, ma'am. Just take a course. That's it. Take a course. You know what I mean? Stop but, asking me you questions. You know, <laughs> questions and stuff like that. Like, especially with all my students, guys, you know that I'm here for life. You know yeah. what I mean? If mm -hmm. you need something, I have students from prior, prior, prior classes still texting me like, Miss Anna, I have this client today. This is the picture she sent me. This is her face shape. This is her eye shape. What do you think that I should do? And I'm like, what were you planning on doing? Mm -hmm. Well, I was planning on giving her this and this and this. And I'm like, perfect. I think that that would really Work. look good on her. I think that would, you know, open her eyes up or whatever it is. And they'd be like, oh, my God, thank you so much. I had somebody text me this morning before coming here to the studio and was like, I ran out of this size. Do you think if I put some in this size, it would be noticeable? And it'd be like, blend it in, yeah. you know, spread them out. The amount and of times that I've had to do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> spread them out and you will be absolutely fine. Oh my God, thank you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely available, maybe not at that second, but I will get your text or whatever and I'd be like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, this is this is how you do it or this is, you know, try this or try that. Yeah. Um, I get asked business questions from a lot of my students that are like, hey, okay, I've come a long way. I've built some clientele now. I want to open up my own studio. Can you give me some advice? Where should I go? What should I do? I know I need a DBA or an LLC, but which one do I get first? And then, you know, I kind of give them that Run information. The yeah. But again, I I don't give a free course. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because nothing in life is free. Being realistic, free. nothing is free. You nothing, know what I mean? Nothing. Like I can give you a lot of information, but if we're getting to the point where you need a lot, a lot of information, you need to take a course and invest in yourself because no one's going to be able to tell you how to lash with a couple of questions. And you should not be afraid of investing in yourself. Yeah. At all. You know what I mean? At like, all. honestly, when I invested in myself, you know, I received a tax return, a small tax return, and I could have just done whatever I wanted with it. I could have spent it. I could have bought me a new bag. I could have gone on a vacation or whatever was the case, right? But I worked in an office. I remember I was making like $16 an hour and I owned a home and I owned a car and I had kids and I was just like, what do I do? I need to find a way to make more money. What should I do? And I started researching ways I can make extra money and so I took a course, like a bundled course with different things in it, like Lash Lift. And um, back then it was called Lash Perm. It was a Lash Perm back then. Because okay. that's really what it is. It's a perm. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, I took a permanent makeup class and it included lash extensions. Forgot what else. but A it little was, bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. And I remember paying like a little under $2,000 for the course. And I was just like, oh, my God, that's a lot of money. I'm letting go. Like I wasn't in a place where I had a couple of thousand dollars in my bank account. I, I made a good living. I paid all my bills. But if I missed a day of work, that's it. I was short. You were screwed. Yeah, I was short. And so I was like, I got to make extra money. And so I invested in myself. You know what I mean? Nobody gave that to me. I earned that money, you know, through my work. And so, I, like I said, I could have done anything with that money, but I decided to invest in myself. And there's a lot of women that are like, oh, no, like... Um, I'm going to go do my hair Yeah, instead. like I'm just going to go do something else. And how much are you paying to do your hair? Yeah. Six, eight hundred dollars <coughs> And like, that's a course. Like, that's a refresher you course. You could have taken a course on something to make extra money. Yeah. And you don't even know where that's going to take you. You know what I mean? And so nobody handed nothing to me. I did all the footwork. I went to the course. I invested my time. You know, I had to buy supplies, which, you know, hurt my pocket too, which, like I said, I could have bought me a new fridge, a new stove or whatever. I could have done something else with the money. But I invested in myself because I knew that I needed to make extra money. I didn't depend on somebody. I remember applying for uh, help from the government and I was like $33 over the income requirement so I got approved for nothing and so like thank you government uh you know what I mean I was like thanks gee <laughs> you know like golly and so I was like I gotta make extra money I don't qualify for benefits you know so um investing in yourself is something really big I remember investing in myself and telling all my friends at work like I just took a lash course I just took a, you know, a perm, uh, a lash perm course. I just took this course, you Come know. Come try it out. Check yeah, it out. and I remember 
one of my friends, she was an older lady. She was probably, I don't know, maybe in her late 60s at that time. I'm not sure. She had really blonde lashes and she came to my office at work and said, I want to do the lash perm. And I was like, you do? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. She's like, how much? And I'm like, I don't know, like 50, 20 bucks. Like, just let me practice on you. You know what I mean? And she's like, okay. And so I had like one of these chairs in front of my <laughs> desk and she just sat there for me and she just laid back <laughs> oh like God, this. I'm... And I was in front of her doing the perm during our break. And uh, it was on break. Okay, guys. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was not during, during the, the clock. clock. <laughs> yeah, it was not during the clock. Um, and she let me give her a lash tint as well. So I tinted her oh lashes God. and gave her a perm all in like our 30 minute break. And um, she was so happy with them. And she was just like, oh, my God. And I would go by her desk and I'd be like, oh, my God, that looks so good. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so then some of my other friends at work wanted to wanted to get some stuff done. Like I told you guys, I started lashing on my couch. Yes. Um, I pulled up a chair from my dining room. And you want to And it. I sat at the end of it. And um, that's how, you know, that's how I got started. And. It just elevated from there. But again, it was because of the... Um, the drive that you had, yeah, the motivation the drive that, I had. that you so, had. Number one is school. School is very important. Invest in yourself. We can all give you free game. But I promise you, you need way more than that. Yeah. There's a lot of information that you need. It's, you know, we're all open books. But you can ask me a million questions. But if you haven't taken a course, you're missing a lot of in-between. Yeah, a lot of in-between. You know? And the thing is that in the <clears> last <throat> life... There's no ending to the knowledge. There's no ending. There's, There's no, no ending. The continuing education is literally for as long as you're going yes, to be lashing. Yes, exactly. So stay motivated to finish those hours. I know it's, you know, hard, but you can do it. And These once ladies you're done, did it. it's oh, such a relief. Yeah, it's such a relief. So we're going to end this podcast here guys oh, i hope that i hope that it helped you understand a little bit about what happens behind the scenes at school some of the challenges but you know definitely we can talk more at another time send us the topics that you want to discuss follow us guys on um on our youtube channel give us you know likes subscribes Hit that bell so that you don't miss another episode. And we will see you again soon in The Lash Life. Bye. Bye.